morning boys and girls. Today is Monday and I thought it would be a really great idea to start out our new week reading a fiction book called Seeds, Seeds, Seeds. It's a story about this character here. It's by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. She drew the pictures and she wrote the words. So she's the author and the illustrator. So there's the exclamation points. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Exciting. And this week we'll talk about seeds and planting, gardens. You can have them in your backyard or at the farm. Take a look at that. I love this picture. I wanted to show you some seeds tomorrow on our Zoom call. I see a pea. I knew that for sure. Right there. I see corn. What else do you see? Oh, do you recognize this seed here? Let's see if I can get my finger in there. That one? Do you recognize that? We eat them in October. Hint, hint. I think we have some sunflower seeds. You see some beans, maybe? Lots of beans. So today I'm going to read you this story without stopping. Sometimes I stop and we talk when we do our read aloud, but today I'm just going to read you the story. Seeds, seeds, seeds. So you can take a look at the pictures. Usually I think out loud and I say, oh, I see a watermelon and a cantaloupe and a strawberry. All right, some sunflower seeds, but maybe today I'll just share with you the pictures and read the words without saying too much. Once the calendar says March. March has already passed. We're in April now. One Monday in early March, Jim, the mailman, called out, Package for Buddy Bear. For me? asked Buddy. Jim read, What it says. For Buddy, from Gramps. So now we know the main character's Buddy. Buddy Bear. Let's see. For Buddy, from Gramps. He's Jim the Mailman. What do you think's in the package? Remember, the title's called, the title of the book is Seeds, Seeds, Seeds. It's March, so there's still some snow on the ground. Buddy's outside. Oh, Mrs. Jarvis can't help it. I do talk when I read a story, don't I? Here we go. Let's look here. I'll zoom in on this picture. Buddy carried the big box into the kitchen. Mama helped him open it. Inside were bags, tagged and tied with blue string. Buddy lined them up. He counted. One two, three, four, five. There was a note from Gramps. Dear Buddy, have five days of fun. Let me read that again. Have five days of fun with an exclamation point. Love, Gramps. P.S. It's almost spring! Exclamation point. Buddy picked a bag. Once inside, he wondered. He and Mama read the tag. And here, this must be the tag. Different and the same. Different and the same. Count them, sort them, glue them by their name. Ooh, how exciting. Let us zoom in on this one. Buddy opened the bag. Inside, he found glue, markers, a piece of sturdy paper, and a small white bag. Do you see how the author and illustrator labeled her pictures? So when she drew the glue, she wrote glue. And she drew the pink marker, she wrote flamingo pink. She drew the red marker and then she wrote cherry red. This is the blue, it says deep ocean blue. We have sunset orange, fern green, and royal purple. So it's really important to label your pictures when you're drawing. Here's Buddy, looks like steps one, two, three, right? First, next, then. Buddy shook the little bag. It made a shh, shh, shh sound. Can you imagine that? He peeked inside. 
And then he tipped the bag. Can you predict what's going to come out? You're right. Seeds. Seeds came out. They were in the little white bag. Seeds, asked Buddy. Seeds, said Mama. Buddy counted them. Let's see if you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He touched them. They feel really hard and dry. Wow, those are good describing words, buddy. Good job. Mama said, that's the seed coat. The seeds have coats? Question mark, asked Buddy. Yes, Bud. The hard seed coat protects the tiny plant curled up inside. Look, said Buddy. What do you see? Mama asked. What do you think he sees? The seeds are different colors. They are different shapes. They are different sizes. Mama, do big seeds always grow big plants? Sometimes, but not always. Some small seeds grow into big trees. Good questions, buddy. Good noticing that they're different shapes, sizes, and colors. On the sturdy paper, Gramps had written, Buddy's Seed Collection. See the blue? Corn, pea, radish, pumpkin. Buddy sorted the seeds. I see seeds that look like corn and seeds that look like peas. Which do you think are the pumpkin seeds, Mama asked. The big ones, said Buddy. I remember them from when I carved my jack-o'-lantern. I think the littlest ones must be radish seeds. I think you are very smart, said Mama. So Buddy figured out. He knew what the corn and the pea looked like and the pumpkins. So the last one is radish, which must be this one, right? Figure that out. Then Buddy glued the seeds next to their names. Corn, pea, radish, pumpkin. Mm, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Mama and Buddy had a snack. Seeds, 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 said Buddy. And that's the title of the book, isn't it? He saved some apple seeds for his collection. What a great idea. I was telling some of you that my son had done this too. You can save your apple seeds. Let's see what happens. Buddy's seed collection. Let's zoom in here. I see one, two, three corn, three pea, how many radish, how many pumpkin, how many apple. On Tuesday, this is the next day, Buddy lined up the bags. He closed his eyes and pointed. Mama and Buddy read the tag. Look, look, look. How do I grow? Put me in order. Then you will know. I see. So Buddy has a bag for each day. He had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. He's now on Tuesday. And it comes with a riddle. So each day he picks, it doesn't matter which order he picks which bag. But today's riddle is, look, look, look. How do I grow? Put me in order. Then you will know. So here we go. Let's see what it says inside. I'm going to show you the big picture. And then zoom in here. Buddy opened the bag. Gramps made cards. I like cards, said Buddy. The cards show how a seed germinates, said Mama. Buddy giggled. Germinates? Does that mean it has germs? Mama giggled too. <laughs> no, germinate means to start to grow. And there's that word, germinate. Why do seeds start to grow? asked Buddy. 
Mama explained, to start growing, seeds need oxygen from the air, the right temperature, and water. A seed soaks up the water. The water softens the seed coat and makes it swell. The seed coat splits open and the seed begins to grow. Take a look, wow. Neat. So they're different, it's, it's, um, they're different cards with order, so he'd have to put them in order. Maybe you can help. Are you ready, boys and girls? I'm gonna hold the camera like this, hopefully you can see. Buddy, put the cards in order. How does a seed know what to grow? Each seed grows the same kind of plant that it came from, said Mama. Inside each seed is the beginning of a tiny plant called the embryonic plant. Embryonic, said Buddy. Wow, that's a new word. Embryonic. Yes, Bud. The tiny plant has an embryonic root. A tiny embryonic stem. Tiny embryonic leaves. And food to nourish the tiny plant as it starts to grow. Okay. First seed. Next root. And then see leaves and stem. The food goes in there. said Buddy. I'm hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> he wants another snack. The food. Buddy and Mama had a snack. Seeds, 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 said Buddy. See them having their snack? He saved some cantaloupe and watermelon seeds for his collection. Buddy's seed collection. Corn, pea, radish, pumpkin, watermelon, apple, and cantaloupe. When Wednesday came, Buddy said, another day, another bag. So here's Wednesday, the middle of the week. He and Mama read, here is something you can eat for the birds. It is a treat just for them and just for you. Good nutrition, energy too. There's your little riddle. Something to eat. I don't like this bag already, said Buddy. <laughs> what do you think could be in there? Something you can eat and for the birds. Think about the seeds that we eat, boys and girls. Oh, for the birds, sunflower seeds. For my buddy buddy, Sunflower seeds. Buddy looked inside. He found a small bird feeder with a red roof. There were also two clear bags with seeds. Mine look different, said Buddy. The seeds for the birds still have their hard coats, said Mama. The seeds for you have had their hard coats taken off. And their insides toasted. That makes them good to eat. Mmm, so do you understand? This was the hard coat. The hard coats are taken off and then the seed was toasted for us to eat here. Good to eat. I'll have one right now, said Buddy. And he popped one in his mouth. Then he filled the feeder with the bird seeds. He saved some for his collection. Buddy and Mama went outside. Buddy pressed the suction cups against the glass and a little bird feeder stuck to the window. Oh, neat. That's a great bird feeder, what a great idea. When they went back inside, Buddy asked, will these seeds grow inside of me? No, Buddy, they won't grow inside of you. 
but the seeds we eat are good, full of vitamins and minerals. Your morning cereal is made from the seeds of wheat, oats, rice, and corn. Mama tasted Buddy's sunflower seeds. They taste nutty, she said. And yummy, said Buddy. He saved one toasted sunflower seed for his collection. Here's Buddy's seed collection it's getting bigger. Can you read the words? Corn, pea, radish, pumpkin, watermelon, apple, cantaloupe, sunflower seed without a coat, sunflower seeds with coats. After Wednesday comes Thursday. On Thursday, Buddy said, this one today. So he grabbed the, the bag. Mama and Buddy read the tag. Here's the riddle. Glue these on. Make a nice design. Create a picture frame. That is mighty fine. Let's see. Oh, there it is. What a great craft idea. Buddy emptied the bag. Look what Gramps sent you in this one, said Mama. Different bean seeds, a cardboard frame, and more glue. I like gluing seeds, said Buddy. That's amazing. I wonder if we could do this at home. Later, Buddy and Mama had a snack. Let's zoom in here and see their snack. Do you, can you see what they're eating? I see. It looks like strawberries, right? Strawberries, Buddy said. I see teeny tiny strawberries. Teeny tiny seeds, I'm sorry. Seeds. Mama said, and strawberries are the only fruit with seeds on the outside, shouted Buddy. Buddy added some bean seeds and some tiny strawberry seeds to his collection. Some bean seeds from this craft and some strawberry seeds. I can't wait to see. Okay, now we can reread Buddy's seed collection. C corn, you read it, pea, radish, pumpkin, watermelon, apple, cantaloupe, sunflower seed without a coat, sunflower seeds with coats, strawberry. And what are these? Starts with a B. B, -b beans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different beans. And do you know what day it is after Thursday? Friday. When Friday came, Buddy chuckled. Which one should I pick today? Well, boys and girls, we know there's only one bag left, right? I think I'll pick this one. He and Mama read. Here are some things you can sow. Water them, watch them sprout and grow. Though it takes a little while, surely this will make you smile. Okay, so you know what his job is to do now. He has to sow these seeds, water them and watch them, put his time into it. Let's see what they are. I'm gonna zoom in over here. There's four squares, one, two, three, four. So let's look at the first two. Graham said put the bottom half of a plastic bottle, some potting soil, grass seed, tape, and paper shapes in the bag. Buddy knew just what to do. He poured soil into the bottle. See how the author, illustrator, labeled grass seed there? That's soil. He sprinkled the seeds over the top and covered them with a little more soil, a little soil. Next, he watered the seeds. Then he taped the paper shapes to the bottle. That's probably for decoration, right guys? Now I'm really hungry, said Buddy. He and Mama had a snack. They snack a lot, don't they? Buddy saved some pear seeds for his collection. Do you see? Because they're having pear for a snack. I'm looking at the birds. That's the pear. So we know pear starts with p, p, p. So that's going to be the next word here. Do you see it anywhere? Oh, I see it there. P pear.
pair. One, two, three, four pear seeds. And we can reread all the other words because you're such great readers now. C corn, pea, radish, pumpkin, watermelon, apple, cantaloupe, sunflower seed with a coat, sunflower seeds without a coat, without coats, strawberry, beans, and pear. For several days, that means many, Buddy watched. He watered. You can even see the calendar. The days go by. Looks like one, two, because he started that project on Friday. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days so far. Watering and waiting. Oh, and waited. And while he waited, Buddy read some books. He brought his seed collection to school. He rode his bike and played catch with Dad. So he did other things to keep him busy. What does that say there? Bailey and the Beanstalk. Oh, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. He built a model airplane at Cub Club. And he went to his best friend Albert's birthday party. So wow, more time has passed. Look at all these days. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. After a while, about two weeks later, right, boys and girls? What do you see? What grew up? This reminds me of the video Mrs. Chadwick sent you. There's a great video about a little boy planting some grass seed. And you put the eyes on the front and the ears. And you make a little monster, right? Buddy sent a package to Gramps. Hey, it's a mail carrier named Mary. And she's delivering this from Buddy. That's the return address. To Gramps. Gramps lives in Florida. And here's the package. What do you think Buddy sent Gramps? Dear Gramps, Seeds, seeds, seeds are so much fun. Thank you lots from your grandson. Love, Buddy. Oh, how sweet. He sent him the picture frame. The cardboard picture frame with the beans. And inside a photo of himself who grew the grass in the plastic bottle. What a thoughtful thank you card, isn't it? I just love this book. I think it's inspiring for us to try to find some seeds in the foods that we eat and save them, collect them, use them for different projects. There's so many things we can do with seeds, seeds, seeds. Math, art, right music even you can make musical instruments so i want you to have fun with seeds this week and next week i'll see you real soon